happening? Yeah. I promise. I promise? Well, all in. Okay, call. Here he goes. So Vaez in great shape to double up. Yeah, but Vaez has got to remember, ki totem vult totem perdit. He who wants everything loses everything? Exactly. Adolfo putting his friend, Poker Stars Team Pro, Veronica Dabul, through some nervous times on the sidelines. Big pot. Vanessa will go over a million or go home. Molson will still be chip leader if he loses, but if he wins, he'll sort of two and a half million. Marifiati wants a closer look at this turn card. The turn card is the king of clubs, king the only of. club Molson did not want to see. Oh boy, the wrong club for Will Molson. Hand over. Molson drawing to an empty keg. Baeza doubles up with the boat. Adolfo adds over a half million to his stack. Will Molson will regroup, though he is still the chip leader. But Baeza is back in the game and in better position to make a run for this PCA High Roller Championship. Back at Atlantis in the PCA High Roller Final Table. Here's the tail of the tape. Will Molson, the leader with over a million and a half chips. But check out the stats of William Reynolds. VPIP measures voluntary chips put in the pot. Anything above 28% is on the loose side. Reynolds is at 41. As for aggression, 66% is average. Reynolds is at a staggering 84%. Action on the chip leader, Will Molson, King 5, and I imagine, Norman, he's determined not to make any unforced errors at this point. Determined not to finish second either, trust me. Both he and Vaeza lay it down over to William Reynolds in the small blind. 8-7 offsuit. Only the blinds are left, and they are quite familiar with each other. Norman, this has been a fun battle to witness between Reynolds and Brummelhouse. Reynolds just with a call for 15,000. Now the big blind. Five tray offsuit. Reynolds played it safe. Check. And Brummelhouse will check his option. Brummelhouse playing it safe for once. The flop is 7 4 9. Reynolds with middle pair. Brummelhouse picked up a gut shot straight draw. Brummelhouse has been short stacked since making the final table. Reynolds checks. Now to the 20-year-old Dutch poker pro and businessman. Does he want a free card, or does he want to build a pot with nothing? He will make a bet of 40000 with his gut shot. Brummel House still aggressive with the short stack. Remember Brummel House friends with bluff savant Lex Veldhaus? They might bluff each other on a tennis court. <laughs> Reynolds will come along. I wonder what stomach medication Brummel House is on. <laughs> Boy, he needs something. Eight of clubs on the turn. Two pair for Reynolds. A straight draw still for Brummel House. Reynolds checks again now with his two pair. Brummel House reaching for chips. Bluffin's contagious. Almost two-thirds of the pot, 95,000. Brummelhouse is treating his gut shot draw like he's holding quads. Brummelhouse showing a lot of nerve. Mullet. Reynolds raises Brummelhouse all in. Check us, raises us, trap us. <laughs> I know what that means. Brummelhouse gets out of the way. Score another one for William Reynolds. Brummelhouse now down to just 10 big blinds. When Brummel House is gone from here, they will list his causa mortis, cause of death, as a fatal attraction to bluffing. William Reynolds has to be thrilled with his ride here at the final table, but he's been enjoying the ride ever since choosing poker as a career. Growing up, I'm not really sure what I wanted to do. I knew I would go to college. I was going to go to Iowa State University, but then I backed out at the last second. I decided to go with poker. I had a job as a grocery store clerk. I would work enough hours to get enough money to deposit that online. And then once uh, I built the online bankroll up, I decided to go tell the boss, I'm, I'm done. I'm just, I'm going to play poker now. I packed up my bags, started traveling. I decided I was going to attend as many EPTs as possible. I went to Copenhagen and Dortmund, San Remo. Monte Carlo. It's way more fun than playing behind your computer screen all day. I was looking forward to the journey because you don't know where it's going to take you. Come on. 
the High Roller event is the most prestigious tournament of the PCA here. It feels great knowing that I played with the best in the world and ended up making it to the final table. Yeah, now I have a big stack and I'm ticked off. <laughs> feel great just to tell all my friends I won the PCA High Roller, shipped all the money, shipped the glory. I'd love to win this. Reynolds graduated high school a semester early to see if he could be successful at poker. It worked out, and eventually he moved to Las Vegas with three poker friends. Price of poker is up. The blinds are at twenty and forty thousand with a four thousand chip ante. Promo house with queen nine offsuit. I believe the Latin term for all in is Heidi Ho. <laughs> I'm all in. All Promo in. house open shows. He'd be happy with the blinds and annies and thrilled with the double up. To Molson. 6-5, he can't do it. Adolfo. In the small blind. Queen 4, he can't do it. Well, he's got one more to go. It all comes down to William Reynolds. Uh-oh. Call. Call. William Reynolds with a chance to finally rid himself of his rival, Mikhail Brummelhaus. My nemesis. I really want Other than the one bluff, Reynolds has held over Brummelhaus for quite a while. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't been wanting to get it. Brummel House has played the short stack pretty well at this final table, and he's going to improve on his sixth and seventh place finishes at World Series final tables no matter what. You're the winner of the tournament, not this time. <laughs> oh, no. You've been calling it every time. Oh, Nostradamus <laughs> says Reynolds still will win this tournament, but not this hand. He's been calling it every time. Brummel House likes the sound of that. All right, here's the flop. 10-6 tray. The ace is looking good for Reynolds. Not much hope there for Brummel House. Making an eight. <laughs> jack. Oh, eight. Eight is okay. No, Nostradamus says it's going to be a jack. Turn card is the jack. A jack. <laughs> so Brummel House picks up some outs with an up and down straight draw. And Nostradamus over there is calling for the straight. Brummel House will need an eight or a king for the straight or he will be gone. The river card is a seven, and that will end it. Mikhail Brummelhaus knocked off this final table. He's gonna finish Great run for Brummelhaus. What's with the pants? <laughs> William Reynolds picks up a bunch of chips. Brummelhaus will earn over $154,000 for his fourth place finish. William, you're a big champion. Adolfo. Um, hombre loco. Yes. William Ombre Loco. Might just be the new nickname. Reynolds gets some more chips along with a new moniker that he hopes will help vault him to a championship. Welcome back to Lannis and the North American Poker Tour, presented by PokerStars.net. Welcome back inside the poker room where we are closer to crowning our high roller champion.